Hey, what is up guys? My name is Kosvin and in today's video tutorial, I'll be creating a short landing page inside Photoshop. I will be using Illustrator, but just for a bit. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll be doing this uh, landing page for Icon. They're a construction company, not exactly a construction company, but uh, they want to test interest with 3D printed houses. Uh, the first thing I am going to do is create a new document and uh, create a body of the actual uh, landing page. Uh, for that I just created a rectangle. Uh, let me just uh, fill up the background with a darker color. You can do that use, by holding down command and backspace. Uh, it fills that layer up with uh, the, the color that's in the background. Now let me just uh, select a different color because I want to use some blues. So let's uh, select that blue. Again, command backspace to fill it up. And now I'm just going to start adding elements for the, the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, paste the icon in place. Uh, I'll double click on it and select the color overlay white and just to make it look better and by hitting command T you can transform uh, that element and holding down shift you can keep the aspect ratio and just I just placed it in the top left corner now I'm going to add the headline just hit T for a text element I'll select this color and let me just place it here so it doesn't be so it doesn't get placed inside the shape right away and now i'm going to break it down because it's pretty it's a pretty long headline a pretty long uh, value proposition so i'm going to break it down in three separate lines let me just select yes and adjust it of course these are just small adjustments uh, now i'm not sure how it will end up uh, i'll probably do more changes but from now I'll just add these elements and just eyeball them <laughs> I don't have any particular sizes in mind said in the beginning of the video that I'll be using Illustrator for a bit. This is <laughs> that particular bit. I had this idea of creating some random shapes and using the direct selection tool to adjust its corner radius and just place them uh, inside the page. Uh, for example, on this right hand side, I want to place an image, something that's relevant to what this company is offering. So I just placed it and now i want to have some guides just so i can hide that top white part of the main body uh, using command t you can just adjust it and transform it and of course i'll be doing the same thing with this uh, one as well but this one i want to place it behind the main body okay and uh, holding down shift and alt you can make sure the aspect ratio when you transform it, uh, it remains the same and you don't have a distorted element. Uh, let me just place this here, but I don't like it. I feel like on the top side it's way too, it's way too sharp. So I have to do small adjustments. Again, direct selection tool and make sure those corner radiuses are uh, the way you like them. I've just placed it uh, by just copying and pasting using command C and command V. Uh, once I placed it, now I have uh, an element behind that and this element I'll be using on the right hand side. I'm not sure if I'm going to be placing it on the far right or on the bottom right. Um, I'm, I'm still thinking about it, <laughs> but what I want to do with this element is just, uh, just add some color to them and make them stand out. 
uh, I want I want to make sure that I have uh, everything centered and aligned so that's what I did there I just selected every element and aligned them and now double click on that background element and let's select a lighter color a lighter shade of blue time to place the image this is an image I got from Unsplash so I just placed it on top of that shape and using a clipping mask I'm going to try first I'm going to duplicate it but using a clipping mask I'm going to try to make it uh, contained by that particular shape I'm not sure why uh, I can see it oh because I have that on top so let's create a clipping mask uh, <laughs> maybe maybe the other way around <laughs> no <laughs> for some reason I I can seem to I can seem to create the, this clipping mask so let me just try again with this one on top uh, let's go ahead and hit right click create clipping mask and of course it doesn't work uh, and it was because it had a color overlay that shape had a color overlay so once I disabled that all was good Since we are pretty much at the end of the video, I wanted to give this uh, give this landing page a bit more uh, depth when it comes to the background. So I placed the exact same image and just did small adjustments. And using a mask and a gradient, uh, I'm using a black gradient. Uh, I'm just trying to mask the edges and somehow have the have the image come through but just a bit just uh, just a couple of details so i'm playing around with the opacity and the blending mode of this image uh, just to give it some details hopefully you like this tutorial it was a pretty quick one and hopefully you got a couple of tips and some techniques you can use in your own projects let me know if you have any questions of course you can download this you can find the link in the description. Until next time, uh, take care guys. See ya.